Hey, what up fish friends? My name is Michael with Fresh Flow Aquatics. Unlike most CO2 videos, today I'm gonna to be talking about what happens when you remove CO2 from your planted aquarium. So over the years, I've heard that when you turn off CO2 in a planted tank, there's really two different things that can happen. First is that your plants will suffer. The idea is basically that they grow accustomed to having carbon dioxide in the water and then when you pull it out, they basically go into shock, they have a healthy diet, and then all of a sudden they don't, and they start to die off, melt, stop growing, um, and then there's potential for them to bounce back from that, other times not so much. And then the other thing that happens is algae will take advantage of the situation, which kind of relates to the first point when the plants are suffering, some of the leaves start to die off and they break down, releasing ammonia into the water, and then that's where CO2 really is able to take advantage of the situation. So I'm gonna be testing that, see if that really happens. We'll go over this tank here where I did have CO2 running for about a month. Um, and I turned it off a couple months ago. So let's talk about CO2, why I used it in the first place and why I ended up turning it off. So CO2 is great, it helps plants to grow quickly and outcompete algae, which is why a lot of people use it. It also allows you to keep more difficult plants, which is not the case in this tank. I was just dealing with algae. And then the other thing is CO2 is kind of costly. The systems themselves are pretty expensive and uh, the gas has recently gone up quite a bit, even though it's kind of a drop in the bucket compared to you know the whole setup. So this tank here has been set up for six or seven months now, and I did use CO2 for about one month. Initially, I had set it up as a low-tech tank. I kind of have this thing in my house where uh, I have two high-tech tanks, and then the rest of them, I have three other tanks. I like to keep them simple, relatively low maintenance, low-tech, low budget, all the above, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so I was kind of stubborn. I really didn't want to use CO2, but I was struggling so much with the hair algae, largely because this is such a tall tank. Uh, what happened was the stem plants, when I planted them, you know, they were probably about this tall and they were really struggling to get enough light uh, penetrating that deep in the water column. So I had it cranked all the way up and without that plant biomass to absorb a lot of that light energy, the algae just took over, but the CO2 did the trick. When I added CO2 into this tank, it allowed the plants to grow crazy fast compared to how they were growing before, and it gave them the upper edge over the algae. So once the plants were able to grow to the top, they were able to absorb a lot of that energy coming in and also provide some shade for some other parts of the tank. So what did I notice when I turned CO2 off in this tank? Well, the first thing I noticed is that my plants were a lot less tolerant to skipping dosing. Sometimes I would go like two weeks without dumping any fertilizer in this tank. And when I had CO2 on, the plants did just fine. I can see now that there was um, some holes starting to form in some of the leaves of the stem plants. The anubias and the remaining moss that's in the tank did just fine but some of the higher demand plants did not do well. And my guess is that the CO2 was providing them with another source of nutrition, carbon, which was somehow able to float them by. Um, surprisingly, I kind of thought it would be the opposite because when you provide plants with CO2, you increase the rate of photosynthesis. And as a result, they consume more light and more nutrition. I thought that Pulling the CO2 would kind of slow down their growth rate and mean that they need less nutrition. So that was a surprise, but not a big deal. I've been a little more diligent about my fertilizing and the plants bounce back really quickly. And then the other thing is that there was no algae growth. So I guess I should say there was no increased algae growth. There's already some hair algae in this tank and um, I think it's always going to be in there. It's manageable. I just pull it out when I do my weekly or bi-weekly water changes. You know, I just go in there with my hand and pluck it out. Not a big deal. But there was no crazy algae bloom. I didn't start seeing other types of algae appearing. 
So some other things to think about if you're considering using CO2 as a temporary thing in one of your planted aquariums is that it really depends on what type of plants you have. If you have super high demanding plants, then pulling the carbon dioxide will really result in those plants dying back. Other times it can just result in the plants um, kind of going into a dormant phase. So I had this fluval flex, which I was able to grow a really nice carpet of dwarf hair grass in while using CO2. But as soon as I pulled that, it essentially stopped growing. The hair grass that remained was, was fine. It didn't die off or anything, but it, it really did stop sending shooters out. So point being is that different plants will have different responses to removing the CO2. And that's something that you'll either need to consider beforehand, do some research. Uh, you know, a tropical website says whether plants are easy, medium, or hard, and that's kind of a good scale to go by. You can uh, also look on most websites that sell plants and they'll say whether or not they need CO2. If they do need CO2, then pulling it will probably stunt them pretty bad. The next thing I already kind of touched on is with regards to nutrition. If you have been dosing your tank pretty heavy while using CO2 and intense lighting, then pulling the CO2 will reduce your plant's rate of photosynthesis. So you'll need to really check your water quality, make sure that you're fertilizing an appropriate amount. If you just keep going business as usual, like on a estimated index tank, then you're gonna end up just destroying your water column, which will be bad for your fish and probably result in algae. And then the last thing is you might wanna reduce your lighting. So it's pretty much the same concept as the fertilizer. If you're using CO2, increased rate of growth, photosynthesis, plants consuming a lot. So pulling the CO2, plants slow down. If you have a lot of lighting on there, that's gonna to translate to algae. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Also, if you did enjoy this or learned anything, consider subscribing to my channel so you can keep seeing more videos like this. All right, till next time, see ya.